We want to welcome y'all to Broken Spoke, the last of the true Texas dance halls, and darn sure proud of it. We ain't fancy, but we don't show our country. We're going to do this. We ain't going to change nothing. We ain't getting nothing hanging fern baskets on our ceiling out here. Now that Pierre water either. When you go up on all your hamburger, don't ask for that great blue pond. You're getting the real mustard out here. On the south side of Boston, every Texan knows. If you want a two-step, go find the broken spoon. When they look up the places that sort of define Austin as a musical destination, the spoke is going to be at the very top of the list. We got people that come from all over the world to hear this music. It's because it's better. There's proof of that. There ain't a single one of you sons of bitches going to go home tonight and listen to the music of Utah. People make pilgrimages because it's a real honky-tonk, and there's nothing left. One of the best beer joints ever. Best beer joints ever, yeah. and Ray Benson said, if you went to the spoke with long hair, you would get your ass kicked, and you would get a haircut. I went in there to see if I could get my to ass see kicked. If you could get your... We're kind of rolling into our 50th year right here at the Broken Spoke. We've had people like Bob Wills right here, Willie Nelson, George Strait, Dolly Parton, Ernest Tubb, Dick Fitter, the list goes on and on and on. Vibe is everything in a club. How many places do you go into, you know, some fake Irish bar, or, you know, some vampire bar that some rock and roll kids own that smell like dog shit? And then you go into the spoke and you realize, wow, man, Ernest Tubb and the Texas Troubadours used to load in there. Willie used to play there on Thursday nights. Like, man, soak it up while you're at the Broken Spoke, because you could be at a frickin' sports bar tonight in Idaho. It's always been a mom and pop operation. I'm in charge of BS and PR, and my wife's the working half of the family. <laughs> I'm raised a straight, innocent Baptist, <laughs> and he taught me to gamble, to drink, <laughs> to cuss. <laughs> People do realize that it's a unique environment. It's something that's it's more or less, at least for now, is being preserved. But of course, uh, it's fragile. It's a functioning, living, and breathing honky tonk, and that was what I was hoping might still exist in America. If anyone watching this has not been there, shame on you. It's your loss, not mine. But you better go. For it. It's like stepping back in time when you walk through the door. Oh.